how to render slash export a portion of your project in Camtasia 2023. Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here from Esatino Media. And on this channel, we show you how to create profitable content. What is the purpose of, you know, exporting or rendering, however you want to call it, a section of your video? Like, let's say something like this here. The benefit is if you have a really long video, like a one hour interview, one hour live stream, and you only want a section of it, you can take that section. Oh, by the way, if you want to know how I did that, I'm just going to double click here and you just pull one of the flags here. So I, I pulled the, the red one and it highlights this section right here. So that's how I did that. So I typically use this feature when I have an hour long video and I want to clip many clips out of this one long video. Usually out of a 60 minute video, I can probably get five or more shorter clips of some good content that are like bite size. They're not YouTube shorts where they're vertical. They're still horizontal like this, but maybe the video is like two minutes or three minutes or five minutes. Also, I use this whenever I see bloopers. So if there's something funny or something really cool, I like to clip that out and put it on our social media. So let's say you have a part that you want to clip, and this is just a, a test tutorial here. Let's say from here to here. Now, when you do that and you drag it, you can see the duration right now. It says, I selected about seven seconds and I'm ending it here at 38 seconds right here. So let's say this is the part. You want to keep it like this, then you want to right click, and then you want to go export timeline selection as. And so this is going to produce render export this section right here, this seven second clip. So I'm going to click that and then it kind of goes as normal, how, how you would normally export a video. So I'm just going to go test and then you would click export and then it says it was successfully exported. Let me just show it to you and boom, there you go. Here is the test video that is seven seconds long. You can see I easily just took that clip out and then I can go continuing to edit on my merry way, you know? That's how I did it when I had this hour long interview to edit and I saw a certain part, instead of me coming back to it, the video was good as is, like I didn't need to add anything. And so all I did was just went like that, made sure that that was the start and the end of the clip, rendered it out, and then continued on in the 60 minute video and I extracted, I think like seven or eight clips. So that is how you render out, export out a portion of your video project while editing is in process. Just a quick tip for you guys this week, hit the thumbs up button if you found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.